good luck. Now it's time for us to cast our eyes over the nation's agonies and angsts. In our weekly look at the national problem pages in If I Were You. First up, writing in the Sunday Mirror this weekend, one woman has written in explaining how when she broke up with her long-term boyfriend, her best single friend was there to help her get over him. Um, now, she's since moved on and she's met a new man, and although she loves her best friend dearly, she now wants to spend time getting to know her new fella. So therefore, her best friend is feeling left out. So if you were her, how would you let your friend know that you might not be able to spend as much time with her as you were when you were it's a bit lonely. Um, I'd say, I've got a new boyfriend, see ya. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, no, not, not exactly like that, mm. but, you know, friends, it, oh, yeah, great that she was there for her when she'd split up and she needed somebody and, and she comforted her, but that's what friends are for, isn't it? And if she's got another boyfriend now and she wants to go and spend time with him and, and not with not with her friend, then she should be happy for her. She should let her go off. You know what? Don't be, don't be demanding of people's time like that. You know, if she wants to spend time with, her, with somebody else and not you, it's, it's you tough. Do she's not just feeling a bit mm, used? I no. think she's feeling used, to be honest with you, because I think, um, having read this, she was there for her, I mean, every step of the way, because she really struggled when her relationship split up. Now she's got this new boy and she doesn't want to see her friend. So I no, think she if she, she be was... there every day for her again. Yeah, yeah so the, they both need selfish. to compromise. Yeah. And I think what she should be saying to the friend is, look, we'll, let's make Friday night our girly night. That's mm -hmm. our girls' night. And she should stick to that. So they're still seeing each other at least once a week. Because, you know, the danger is this is a new relationship again she's just entered into. If it all goes wrong and she's gone to a friend, sorry, I've met someone new, get lost... If it all goes wrong again, she's not going to... You know, that mate isn't going to be there for her again. Well, mm. she should be if she's you a know. mate. Well, no, not necessarily. You can't keep... You can't just use your mates, can yeah, you? Right, I want you this week, but get lost next weekend. You know, I don't want friends like that. It's not using people. It's... That's what friends are for. No, it's great to have friends who are there for you and they don't expect mm. anything back. But you can't yeah. just dump them and not see them again while well, you're in a relationship. Her. She's just saying she wants to go and spend time with her new boyfriend. What's wrong with that? Yeah, and also, as, as the other friend, you know, when you have had a friend who's been through a split-up, the day they say, I'm all right now, it's like, thank God for that, because yeah. I can't bear anymore. Exactly. You know, so I think it's, it's good, let them go, you know, I think it's yeah. great when they come in and it's great when you can help them, but I think it's great when they meet someone else and yeah, go one back day to her life. It's all right, isn't it, for your friends? One day a week? Well, I don't she know. She doesn't want one day a week, though. She wants, like, every day. No, but day. that's what she needs to say to her, right? We can have one day a week, or that's it. You know, we can't be friends because okay, I've got so this new compromise, relationship. Compromise, compromise. <laughs> um, now, also appearing in the problem pages of the paper is one young holiday maker. Get this. Tells a story of how he got lucky and he brought an attractive girl back to his hotel room for some after some fun. On arriving back at the room that he shared with his friend, he realised he'd lost his key. So he went down to reception to retrieve a new one and on returning found his mate getting very familiar with his lady friend in the corridor. Now, the pair have since fallen out as he feels it's not something he can forgive, but should he just kiss and make up with his friend, not the girl? So, well, I wonder what they were going to do in there in front of the best mate. You, you know, if they did get just in the... sharing a room yeah, anyway. I mean, yeah. that's a bit... In your face, isn't it, really? <laughs> just can you put these earplugs in? I'm just about to have a good time. <laughs> so also, don't lose your key. How long was she stood there? I'd have been knocking on the door saying, excuse me, can I use your mm. lavatory? Or, you know, can I freshen up? And also, he might have been drop dead gorgeous in there. <laughs> you the friend. <laughs> yes. Oh, I sound very shallow, don't I? <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. Life's too short. I don't Get think over it's, it. it's not worth falling out over, no. is it, those boys? I mean, I, you know, I've been on holiday quite a few times, and I, when I was younger, I used to have quite a few little holiday flings and romances. It was never... You know, it's not worth falling out with your best friend, is it? Because, you know, if you go on holiday, a lot of girls are there, or they used to be when I was there, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> to, you know, go and pick up no boys. Well, well, yeah, you know, it doesn't... But it doesn't... There's more. Go, there's, another, there's another one just down the road. Just go and get another one. <gasps> I, think, I think it depends on the situation. If he'd been chatting this girl up all night in the bar and been saying to his friend, I really, really fancy this girl, yeah. then I think it's out of order. 
that in the length of time it took him to go to reception and get a new key, <laughs> his mate was doing it in the corridor with her. Yeah. So I think that's out of order. Having said that, if it's someone he picked up, you know, the end of the night, took her up to the bedroom, went down and got a key, his, his mate's then doing Jumped it in. when they get back. Would you really want to be with a girl like that, no. to be honest with you? And no. I certainly wouldn't want to lose a friendship over a girl like that. I think the two boys just go for a pint and, you know, maybe say, come on, mate, say, that was a, that was a bit out of order. And you can mm. say, yeah, you're right, that was a bit out of order. And then they can just have a good laugh about yeah, it, really. Yeah, absolutely. Because it was never going to be marriage material, no. was it, really? And young lady, you need to take a long, hard look at yourself. Yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> right. It wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> Time for one last...